Their protest may not be large, but to the family of Peyton Lawrence. The bigger it gets, the more uh, pressure we will put on to the police department to give us answers. It's important. The 19-year-old's loved ones protesting outside Mesquite City Council meeting Monday. Justice for now, I'm not saying that all officers are bad, but this situation is bad. Inside, they asked for transparency. And when I look at all of y'all up there, I don't really see any concern. I don't. Lawrence was shot and killed by a Mesquite police officer on Thursday. He was in the driver's seat of a car parked at this gas station when confronted by that officer. The officer following a stolen vehicle that was traveling alongside with Lawrence, the department said. The official word from Mesquite PD, a 17-year department veteran asked Lawrence to turn off the car he was in and cooperate with his commands. When he didn't, the officer fired three times at him. There were guns in the vehicle, but the department did not say that the officer was threatened with one. He's yet to be identified. Your officer has the opportunity now to go with his family on the holidays. Our nephew is laid on a cold slab in the MA's office. The mayor of Mesquite offering his condolences to Lawrence's father. We appreciate the mayor. We appreciate the chief. You know, we're just trying to get answers. The officer who opened fire is on leave. The chief here telling WFAA he expects their body camera footage to be released on Thursday. Hey, at the earliest. Hey, in Mesquite, hey, I'm Matt Howerton.